Monsters vs. Aliens, how can you go wrong with a title like that? You don't. Well, for the most part. The film definitely gives what it promises, Monsters vs. Aliens, but sometimes it gives some really lame, really not well thought out jokes. But to make up for that, I think it gives us some very memorable characters, most of them anyway, and a very creative premise. The story starts off with a woman named Susan who's about to get married. But through, of course, a tragic accident, she transforms herself into a giant and is captured by the government to be used as, well, a weapon freak of nature. So they put her with the other weapon freaks of nature, including a big-eyed scientist, the missing link, and a one-eyed blob. For the most part, they just keep them there safe until some sort of threat ever comes by. And when you know it, a threat comes by. Aliens from another planet start to invade the Earth. The president, played by Stephen Colbert, tells them to send in their top men, or freaks. This is where our four heroes come in. Can they stop this invasion while also trying to find their place to fit in with humanity? The film suggests yes, but let's not jump to conclusions. The strength of the movie does come from our main character, Susan. She was planning just to be an everyday housewife with a nice normal life, when suddenly this freak accident occurred. And she plays it in a way where you really do feel legitimately sorry for her. Her fiancé turns out to be a jerk, everybody's horrified of her even though she would never harm a mouse, and now the army wants to use her as a weapon to destroy even though she has no training whatsoever. Her problems are definitely the heart of the movie. But that's not the only thing to like. Seth Rogen is the blob with the one eye and he gets a few good lines. Colbert as the president is pretty much as funny as it sounds. Eat lead, alien robot! Evidently they eat lead. Get him huh. on the chopper! Ha! I'm brave! I'm a brave president! And even the evil aliens get a good giggle here or there. I found out my parents were... No child should ever have to endure that. So I went on the road with a giant... Where the film falls flat is sort of the other characters. Like the missing link I don't really remember that much, and the scientist I don't really remember that much. Some of the jokes range from kind of a good idea to just kind of stupid. Yeah, remember that scene. And sometimes the animation can be a little odd. I don't know, sometimes the people look a little too weird to me. But again, they sort of level that out with some really creative action sequences, and do a great job in giving everybody their size and scope, especially considering the fact that they make Susan the main character, so you can get a lot of fun angles with height and size that way. So on the whole, Monsters vs. Aliens isn't a super strong film, but I think it's enjoyable to watch at least once, maybe even twice. Anytime a joke sort of keels over and dies, they always make up with it with either a lot of heart or a lot of action. It's a fun flick and definitely worth your time to check out. 